Good morning, everyone. This is Cody with Connected Camper. Today, we're going to be doing an extended runtime test on propane with the Genmax GM3500 IAED dual fuel inverter generator. Now, we are camping out here in eastern Iowa. It is going to be about 88 degrees high temperature today. Um, I do have a 15,000 BTU air conditioner on the roof there that we're going to be running all day on propane using this generator. It's about 11 a.m. today, um, and I'm going to keep a timer going as well as the generator on its screen there has a nice little timer that shows the runtime of each time that you're uh, running, running the generator for each session. Now, I do have the uh, RV hooked up here. I'm going to run inside and click on the air conditioner. Um, but uh, I'm going to get this started and then we'll get it running and I'll check in throughout the day. So let me go ahead and get the propane turned on here. Get this. Now the carburetor has been drained in this and so we're going to flip that over to propane. There's a little primer on this side right here. One, two, three three and then we're going to use the electric start now on the screen here you might not be able to see it all that well but there is uh, a timer the hours run there we can see i have 46 hours and then based on the frame rate you'll be able to see there is a timer that it'll flip to um, and so I will check in throughout the day and report back. So we are just a few minutes into the runtime. Just want to show you the power that we're pulling. 1.9 kilowatts, so 1900 watts to 2000 watts. Only about 10 minutes in. Um, running on propane. We will check back shortly. The air conditioner has been running for about an hour and 13 minutes now. And we are down to about 60 degrees inside here. Um, the air conditioner is running, blowing out very cool air. Um, so there's a chance our test here may be slightly uh, inaccurate because I know the compressor will shut off here shortly, otherwise we are gonna get frozen out. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated. So we are about one hour and 43 minutes into this with a 1.8 kilowatt load. If we come over here to the propane bottle, you can actually see the level of propane here based on the condensation. We're looking at a little over half full, but I also know that the tank itself only had four gallons of propane in it because that's as full as the refill place would, would get it. So, I would say it's being very efficient right now, and I can also tell you that the exhaust fumes from it are significantly less on propane than they are on regular gasoline. We will check back shortly with an additional update. So we are at the four hour and 30 minute mark. As you can see right there, the propane tank I would estimate the propane is about right here on the tank. Um, yeah, I mean, we're at four hours and 30 minutes, I would estimate. We're gonna be able to get a solid 10 hours out of this running the 15,000 BTU RV air conditioner. And we are at five hours and 56 minutes of runtime. With uh, running 2,000 watts roundabout. level of propane. Doesn't feel like it gets colder until right about down here. It's actually frozen up down here. Um, but uh, yeah, we're running well. I'm guessing uh, when I get back from dinner, the uh, generator will probably still be running. If it isn't, I can check the hour meter and determine how many hours it additionally ran and we'll have our result. 
So we are at hour eight, and this thing is not showing any signs of stopping. The uh, propane tank, uh, you can see there's ice down here at the bottom, um, but I still don't think the level has really sank all that much. It still feels pretty heavy, and we are looking at eight hours and 21 minutes of runtime here. Um, right now the compressor on the air conditioner is not running because it's about 60 degrees inside um, But yeah, I mean this thing's running and really isn't showing any signs of stopping So I'm actually gonna let it run overnight And uh, I'll still do one more check-in, but I'm planning to let this thing run overnight and uh, we'll check back in uh, Shortly So we are at 10 hours on our test here uh, nine hours and 47 minutes to be exactly right. Um, the generator has started to, when the compressor for the uh, air conditioner kicks on, the uh, generator has started to stall out. Um, it is still running small loads right now. Um, and actually, if you look at the bottom of the uh, propane tank here, you'll see just a boatload of ice. Um, so either the tank is frozen up um, or the uh, generator is out. Um, I'm gonna let it continue to run here without the air conditioner, but I think we can call it 10 hours while running uh, the 15,000 BTU RV air conditioner um, on, on a 20 pound cylinder of propane. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised. It is more expensive to run it that way, however, when you run on propane, you have less uh, less mess to clean up with gasoline, less smells, less odors. It's cleaner for the environment. Um. And to wrap up this review today, I just wanted to go through and show you kind of a numbers breakdown of the uh, Gen Max here on propane compared to gasoline. Now, I did use a 20-pound propane tank that I had, actually several 20-pound propane tanks that I had refilled just prior to the testing. Um, I did watch the meter as they filled those up, and you can see that um, a 20-pound propane tank can fit, in perfect conditions, about 4.7 gallons of propane. Um, they put four in, um, and I watched it on the meter there as they filled them up. Um, now, the gasoline tank on the Gen Max is 1.7 gallons, and so that was the, the test there. The price per gallon on the propane that I used was $3.89 a gallon. Gasoline, when I filled up, was $3.59 a gallon for 87 octane. Um, the duration was uh, basically whatever the canister um, that I was using, whatever container. Um, in this case, it was the 20 pound propane tank. Uh, that, and then the number of hours in gasoline lasts for about six and a half hours on the 1.7 gallons of gasoline. The load average was about 2000 watts. Um, and that was pretty much a non-scientific way. Um, that's, that's what I estimate. Um, both conditions and both tests were very close to the same conditions. So I'm just calling it about 2000 watts. Um, for the duration tests, um, it was the, the price there, um, basically the number of gallons times the price per gallon, and then the uh, cost per hour to operate. Now we can see that propane does cost a bit more than gasoline per hour to operate. Um, and that is because propane has some more pros versus gasoline. Propane is easier easier to be stored in the in the 20 pound uh, propane tanks. Those are easier to store. I can put those in the back of my truck. I don't need to worry about the temperature or those sitting out in the sun. They don't expand. They don't contract. They don't need to vent. Um, and it's easier to store. I can have those propane tanks sit in my garage for upwards of a year and they're going to be perfectly fine. If I have a container of gasoline sitting in my garage for a year, I would not want to put that back in my in my generators or any of my small engines for that matter. Propane doesn't have uh, nearly as bad of a smell or a lingering smell as gasoline. Um, and then there's less of a chance of the propane getting on me. For example, if I go to re uh, fill up the gas tank on any generator, there's a chance that that gas 
could uh, vent out or splash or get on my hands. Almost every time I refill a generator with gasoline, I always want to wash my hands immediately after it because there's, for some reason, just a little bit of gas that gets on my hands regardless. Um, and then it's better for the environment. The propane, the, just the smell around the generator is noticeably less when running on propane versus gasoline. Um, now, the cons of propane is that it is more difficult. There's a bit more of a barrier to refilling your propane tanks. Um, luckily, I do have a place near my home that refills them for a pretty reasonable price. Um, and so I do get those refilled. Now, if you do opt to use the um, those uh, boxes at convenience stores where you can just trade out your propane tanks, those will cost more than refilling. Um, the For example, you can see I paid $15.56 per 20-pound cylinder. Um, add about $10 to that, in my area at least, to trade out those propane tanks for a full one. Um, and then the cons of propane is that you also get decreased power output. Um, now, for me, that's not as big of a deal because I'm not running this generator at full throttle all the time, but for others, that might be. Now, this is just the, the final cost breakdown between propane and gasoline on the dual fuel Genmax GM3500 IAED inverter generator. This is Cody with the Connected Camper. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.